mattresses, household gloves, the soles of shoes, elastic bands, condoms. All of these products can be made from natural rubber. Where does it come from and under which conditions is it being produced and processed? We at the Fair Rubber Association want to bring transparency to the production process and we want to contribute to an improvement of the living and working conditions of rubber plantation workers and small farmers. We award a logo to companies which use fairly traded natural latex in their products. These companies pay a fair trade premium, but it's the plantation workers and small farmers who decide how the money is used. At present, the Fair Rubber Association works with producers in Sri Lanka and India. We visit these plantations and processing plants on a regular basis. This time, Martin Kunz, the executive secretary of the Fair Rubber Association, travels with board member Oliver Gote. They took a camera with them. Our trip starts on a plantation in Sri Lanka. This is where the rubber trees grow. The latex milk flows from the bark once the tree is tapped. Whether on a plantation or in a small holding, rubber trees look alike. And tappers in New Ambadi, our partner plantation in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu, work in the same way as their Sri Lankan colleagues. Work starts early on the plantations. Latex milk only flows when it's still cool outside. The tappers use a special knife to carefully cut off a very thin layer of bark, just enough for the latex milk to start flowing. 20 to 30 grams of latex a day collect in the small bowl that is attached to each tree. Later in the morning, the tappers bring the latex milk to the collection points. The milk is weighed and its rubber content measured. The addition of a small amount of formic acid results in the coagulation of the latex, just like milk into which you've poured some lemon juice. To get out the excess water of what looks like latex yogurt, the mass is squeezed again and again through a series of machines similar to mangle presses. The result is a thin latex sheet. Small farmers dry and smoke these mats to preserve them. Not only small farmers produce rubber this way. Processing plants work in a similar fashion. Here we are in the rubber factory on the plantation Horana in western Sri Lanka. Here too, latex milk is collected, made to coagulate and then pressed to squeeze out the excess water. Again and again, the thin latex sheets are pressed together and cleaned. The next step is drying, but without smoke. That's the difference to the small farmer's method of processing. 52-year-old Mrs. Pramavati is one of the workers who check the rubber sheets for impurities. The job needs continuous attention, a sharp eye and experience. Mrs. Pramavati has all three. She's been working in the factory for 30 years. Mrs. Pramavati enjoys the responsibility of working in quality control. There are around 200,000 rubber trees in New Ambadi, a plantation in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. 160 people work in the field and in the factory. Here, high-quality latex is being produced. Mattress and condom manufacturers are among the customers. Finally, we see rubber as we know it. At the beginning of our journey, it dripped out of the bark. It was dried pressed and refined, and now it can be made into things like rubber boots, like here in a factory in Sri Lanka. These are not just any rubber boots. We know what they were made of, who made them, where the natural latex came from, and we know that the rubber workers and tappers got a fair trade premium. Fair rubber, make the world a better place. www.fairrubber.org